Hello there. Today I'm going to show you how to write a small script in Python which is going to enable you to track your public IP address. This might come in handy if you plan on uh, reaching your home services from outside the world and you do not have the dynamic DNS service or some kind of other service uh, enabled or you are not using any of such services. So <coughs> let's get to it. What is a public IP address? So the public IP address is an IP address which is visible to the outside world. That's the IP address seen from the web services you use or, or whatever service you connect to and basically with this IP address you connect you, you are able to connect backwards to your home if you have the specific ports open. What we are going to do is uh, write this script and I will show you how to send uh, also an email based on HTML text to the specific account with a, a gmail, gmail example. So from email.mine.multipart import mima multipart from email.mine.text import mima text from SNTP lib import SNTP uh, and import requests. What we need to do first is uh, check our actual IP. In this uh, use case a file will be used to store every recorded public IP address we had so far and this solution will handle the so-called first start problem when you do not have an actual public IP address recorded and it will create the file for you. So the actual IP is going to be none. We will try to get the actual IP with the request module and use the URL variable and point to the HTTP what is ip.akamai.com and we need the text part of this except if this fails we will say that there was an error fetching the site <coughs> aborting and we raise a system exit exception. After this we will need the previous IP which is going to be initialized as none and this will be obtained with the following with statement ip.txt with the read switch as f and we are going to try to assign this to a variable strip down from any unnecessary characters like white space or tab or whatever Except if we get a file not found error, what we are going to do is create the file with this statement. Write a file close so we do not leave any handles after ourselves. So far we have the actual IP address and the old IP address. 
And what we need to do now is compare these two. If the previous IP equals to actual IP, then we will say that nothing has changed. Nothing to do. Do -do -do. Otherwise, we are going to update the recorded IP address in the file by saying that we want to open this file with the write switch F and F of write <coughs> actual IP after that I'm going to cheat we are going to create a mail body a multi-line variable which is going to have the previous and the actual IP as arguments and this is how the body of the mail is going to look like so this is an HTML tag we have the body tag here which is going to be the recipient, your public IP address has changed, touch the email. We are going to say that this was the old IP address coming from the first variable, and this is the new IP address coming from the last variable, and we are going to say best wishes for automator, close the body and close the HTML tag. After that, we are going to try to send the email but before that we are going to create the HTML mail message so this is going to be the mind mode part with the alternative the message is going to have a subject message is going to have a form and the message is going to have a two field a two is going to be the your recipient the from is your mail message and the subject is the new public IP holding the actual IP's value and we are going to attach this mime text the HTML mail body as HTML so now we can start and try to send this mail so in this example the Google's uh, SMTP service is going to be used there is one trick which in later I will reveal on how to actually enable this so-called less secure applications to send email in your name using your account so smtp.gmail.com is the service and uh, 587 is the port we are going to use the TLS we are going to provide credentials for the authentication so this is the your mail address and your password and we are going to call the send mail function which is going to be your email your recipient and the message as string accept print unable to send mail the usual reasons why this may fail is that uh, you provide wrong credentials for example the authentication fails but 
this is all. So this is a 47 line long script. And yeah, this is how you are able to track your public IP address. You may schedule it in the task manager or Crontab if you are on Linux system and it can run every minute or so and that way you can make sure that you have the public IP address if you want to access your home from anywhere around the world. <clears throat> Let me save it. And you may now see how to enable less secure apps on Gmail. So you go to the less secure app section of your account and this is the place where you have to enable your account to be used by less secure applications for example sending an email. I'm going to put the source code on GitHub and if you liked it stay tuned for more and give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.